In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the short sighted ambition quest where you need to seek a ripened quincy, quincy, some kind of fruit. I'll show you where to get it. Now you get this quest in Buck Batal. So at this location, the second major city in the game, when you get here, you're actually gonna get it from Isaac's um, Wares, which is like the potion store right over here. Now, before you get the quest, you will have to have purchased at least one item. So just purchase like the cheapest thing in the store or something. You just have to buy one item and then he'll try to find it. And then you'll realize like something's wrong with his vision and he needs this fruit, a ripened one, to make him see better. So you're gonna have to go ahead and find one of these. Now, this is what it looks like. It looks kind of like a bush with these yellow like things on them. You'll get just the normal ones. And the location of this bush is right over here on the map. So you can come get this one right here. There's generally a bunch all over the area. Here is a second location, just if the first one's not there. And to make these um, like quinces, quinces, qu quinces, quince, I do, I don't know, I don't know how to say it. To make it ripened, you have to let three days of time pass. So go find a bench and just keep pressing the doze off option, which is the, like the top option until like three actual days have gone by. Now I skipped ahead a bit here until like the final day and you should see you've done it correctly when the quest updates at the top left of your screen saying bring him a ripened Quincy. And just to make sure you can check your inventory, you do in fact have the ripened Quincy's now instead of just the normal like yellow ones. Great, so go ahead and take them to him and you're just gonna go ahead and give him one of these ripened Quincy's quite easily, just like this. And then from this point, he's going to not want to talk to you. He's going to say, come back in a few days time. So a few days to me means two days. So you're going to go back to the bench and you're going to sit down for two days and you're going to skip another two days of in-game time. Once it's been a few days, come back to him and you'll speak to him. And now he's going to tell you about the grimoire that he spoke of and how it has a part two and he wants you to find part two which I'll give you the exact location too. But before we go ahead and we find this, you should speak to his wife and daughter because they're going to give you a warning and they want you to stop helping him because they feel like it's bad. That's a warning. It's bad. <laughs> so after you've spoken with them, you can now head to where the Grimoire is, which is going to be at Checkpoint Rest Town. So just go all the way north to Checkpoint Rest Town, this location right over here. Now at this place, we're going to go to Ibrahim's scrap store, which is located right over here. So at this location, you're going to make your way to this shop, which I'm sure you've been to before. Now here, you're going to speak to him and you'll see in his store, he's actually going to be selling the part two of the Grimoire. So if you go by, it says on the transference of souls two. this is part two. You're going to buy this book. Now, what we're also going to do is make a forgery, request a forgery of the exact same book so that you have the option of giving him the real one or the fake one. It's up to you. The fake one, if you want him to have the good ending, the real one, if you want him to have the bad ending. So choose wisely, right? Before you can get the forgery, you will have to sit on a bench for a few days, again, like two days or so. So just skip through two days of time on the bench, go back to Ibrahim's store, and you'll be able to take the forgery and collect it. And that's that's where you're going to get both of them. You'll notice that the difference is this is the original. The second one is called On the Transit of Souls 2. So it's a completely different book title. So return to Isaac and you're going to have the option of giving him one of either books. Do note that one of them is the bad ending and one of them is the good ending. So transference, bad ending. If you want the bad ending, go for it. If you want the good ending, you're instead going to go for the transit of Souls 2, which is the one that I'm going to use in this video. Once you've given him the book, he'll then walk off and he'll ask you to follow him. So just go ahead and follow him. I'm just showing you the location he walks to in case you like didn't do this part and you don't know where he went. It's right up here. And once you walk into this tent, their house, he will then cast the spell or whatever. And because I gave him the fake, it's obviously not going to do anything. To which point the quest will be completed and he's going to give you your reward. And that is the end of the quest. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. By the way, if you give them a real one, his family turns into dust and they disappear forever. Yeah, yikes.